Hey, 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 folks. Welcome to my kitchen once again. Today, I'm going to share with you another cooking tip that I learned about. Um, it's basically um, trying to preserve our ingredients and not allowing it to spoil on us. Um, I have in front of me here some basil that I picked from my plant, from my plant that I'm so proud of. And it, to me, I love the basil because it doesn't give, it doesn't take any, it doesn't need like what we would say spoon feeding. Um, it grows very well, and even in dry season, it it wasn't, it was drying up a bit, but it didn't die. It survived, and as soon as the rain began to fall, it just flourished again. I mean, it's a beautiful plant, and it again doesn't need much effort to, for it to grow. Uh, so what I learned is that um, I want, I learned how I could preserve um, my basil, like a cook with it easily and um, even when it's get dry season this year at least I could have some basil I could cook with. Now the procedure I'm going to do is to you know, dry the basil. So what I did was I picked, I'm not, you could buy the basil in the grocery and still use this tip of course, right? Um, I picked the basil from my plants and I washed it a bit and I allow all the excess water to, to drain out. Um, I put a piece of paper towel on it, on them and I love it to dry so they are completely dry no no water on them yeah I'm gonna put it in the oven so let me just show you how I'm gonna do this in the oven and in this instance, instance I'm gonna use my toaster oven okay so here are the basil leaves um, the basil from the plant like I said and what I'm gonna do um, on my baking tray I'm gonna this gonna allow this to make maybe about um, 20, 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes I'll keep on checking it and the objective is to get the um the leaves nice and you, know, you have feel like a sort of a crunchy effect on it that's the objective of it um and that's it so i'll be back when um when the final result of what i'm looking for okay folks so here's my basil it took me maybe about 20 minutes so um what you need to do like um you just apply a little pressure on one of the leaves and you would feel like it's no longer soft you get a sort of a crunch effect you hear that that's what you're looking for so let me get to get a, a, a dish to show you exactly what I do next so what I do next basically I remove the leaves from the branches because I don't want the branches so just take off the leaves off of the branches like that You wouldn't believe how good my kitchen smells right now with this basil. I love this, the smell of basil. The whole kitchen is just bright with this smell. Oh man. Okay, now that it has been done, what I do next, basically I just hold the basil like this and just crunch it up like that. Get it nice and fine. It's kind of fun to do this. <laughs> I like this step, just like crunch it, get it as fine as you can. And matter of fact, I'm feeling a little oil in my hand, a natural oil from the from this herb. If you have a large batch of this to do, I'm just doing this small batch to show you. And um, you can use, use a rolling pin to do this process if it's a large batch. And then what I do next, I just take my um my dry basil. I have a, like a glass jar. I'm gonna put this in the jar and put it in the fridge. And I, I use it today and I feel so proud that I use <laughs> dried garlic from my, sorry, dried basil from my garden. My mom did something like this um, previously. Um, she has like a small leaf time. And as I was doing this, I remember she used to do something like this with her um, dry leaf time. So I think I'm almost done. Let me go and get my jar. I'm going to I already have some in my jar. I'm going to add it in this to that. And I have my dry basil when I do my another recipe. Okay, guys, this is my jar that I was telling you about that I have my already dried basil leaves that I did before. So I'm going to add the balance to this. And so when you're making another dish, I just take out like a small, like a pinch of it. Well, it depends on how much food you're preparing. 
and add it to my dish and I'm all good. This is a really great tip guys, you need to try this. You really need to try this and let me know what you think about it if you have tried it. If you have any other suggestions to add to this tip, let me know. I really like these sort of a tips. You know. I was I, I used to keep like a, I'll cut a few branches, put it in my fridge and stuff. Um but like when you wet the basil, I found it was a little difficult to like chop up. You know, but with this tip, I don't have to chop up anything, it's already brick is it like is it like in a powder form and we're good to go for my next meal. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, let me know what you think again and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.